Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to bind data in drop-down list control using PHP. And I am using the remote server of GoDaddy, PHP my admin. I am using Notepad++ to write the code of PHP. And this PHP page contains a simple HTML code with header tags. Let's save this file, check the output on the browser. Now here is the designing part of that HTML code. Let's flip back to the coding part. We'll create a drop down list in PHP. In the body, I'm creating the select tag and close the select tag option and I'm closing the option. And between the option, I'm writing choose. Let's save this file. Let's check the designing part on the browser. I am reloading the browser. And here it is the drop down list control. And my next step is to connect the database of remote server PHP my admin for my SQL of GoDaddy. Let's write the PHP code to connect the database. PHP I'm adding the variable host name, username, database name, password, user table, the last variable I'm using the column name of the table so, column name after writing the code I will log into my database account will gather all this information let me finish the code my SQL underscore connect which takes three parameters one is the host name this one and the second parameter is a username this one and the third one is a password or die unable to connect the database my SQL select underscore DB method which takes the database name this one I'm pasting here I'm declaring another Query is equals to in this query variable I'll write the select statement which I will explain in a moment. Dollar result my SQL underscore query which takes a parameter of this query select statement. Here this one. Let's save this file. Let me connect to the GoDaddy MySQL database and we'll collect the database settings. I'm signing to my GoDaddy account. I'm just logging into my account of PHP My Admin. The first one is a host name, which is a database server. I'm copying this I'm pasting the host name here I'm using the username and password are the dummy ones name and the password at the time of uploading this file into my server I will change into my real credentials and the database name 
and the next one I am taking the database name here MySQL DB copy it paste here let's check the user table the third parameter is a table name I am expanding the MySQL DB I am browsing the students table and in the students table there are four rows and the column name I want to display in the drop down list is a student name the table name is a students and the column name is a student name and the column name is student name after adding the all the variables now the next one is a query which is a select select start from this one the user table copy this user table is nothing but a students table in the select option I'm adding select the student name and here I'm adding the PHP code if dollar result which is the mysql query copy this paste here while dollar row is equals to mysql underscore fetch array takes a dollar result ST name is equals to dollar row square brackets dollar which is a column name I want to display the column name here in this select option echo and close this option dollar student name and I'm giving break colon let's save this file and we'll check the final output on the browser I'm reloading the browser and we got here the new output select the student name Jack Peter Mohit and Vijay Jack Peter Mohit and Vijay that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos